going on guys Dilly here bringing you guys a brand new video so today I'm going to be doing an editing tutorial on some basic effects that you guys can all use so the first thing you're gonna want to do is go and find a clip to edit Dude, I'm gonna get uh, the, the, uh, uh, this clip right all right so I have to insert the clip or whatever the frick you want to freaking call it always disable resample that's that's a must you just you just have to do that you know and uh, also while you're at it you have to like subscribe to you know deal of effects that that kid right there okay so what you're gonna do now is you're going to click on the audio and you're gonna click U on your keyboard hold it and then press delete and just delete the audio like that the most basic easy way to delete audio from a clip so yeah that's what I do now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get a song so you know we did this backwards and normally you'd get the song first but it, it doesn't really matter honestly so for the song I'm gonna use numb to pain by X condition all right so we got the song now split that delete drag bam all right uh, sorry that was a loud burp okay so we're adding markers all the beats right now all right and then you're gonna drag this back and uh you know it'll look like that all right so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna go click right where he hits it right there press s and split that drag it to the first part now what you're gonna want to do is drag this about like there i don't fucking know whatever the freak it's hard to explain guys i'm really bad at explaining things but you just all right just bear with me so now what you're gonna want to do is press control hold that drag that like that and uh you know yeah all right so now we're gonna look at this that's 492 that is no bueno we want that to be at least 500 that's like the lowest you can go or else it'll look choppy so yeah 504 that's great now we're gonna do that all right oh, oh, all right there so like i said how you do that is you're gonna click control hold it and then right click on the side and drag and it does that it slows and speeds it up so that's another generic easy way to do that so now that i had to show you guys again i fucked up so thank you guys for the stupid tutorial because i messed up you know this is what this will look like now okay so that on to the effects now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just sync this up a little bit so i'm going to speed it up <laughs> Okay, so I finally synced it, and I'll show you guys how shitty this looks right now. It's just a sync. Don't mind how bad the syncing is. It's just syncing because this video is not about syncing. It is about effects. So we're going to pre-render this and watch this. So how to pre-render, you press shift B. But what you're going to want to do is drag this shit over it, and then shift mother freaking B, and it pre-renders. So, you know, you're going to need a good computer pre-render. So, yeah, that's that. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he goes. Oh, bam. Wonderfully synced. I've never seen something synced so good in my freaking life. That was... That was... Wonderful. Alright, anyways. So, to the effects. So, this is basically how I go with my effects. What I would do normally is I'm going to split it where the markers are. So, split. 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 Splitty, split, 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 split. You don't have to do this for necessarily every split mark. But, you know, I would prefer if you did not because it's going to be just bad. So, yeah, we're going to go to effects, lens blur. Just copy what I'm doing right now. These are the settings right here. Copy those down. You know, yaga, yaga, blah, 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 blah. Then what you're going to do, you're going to do that right there. Boom. Click over here. And then you're going to want to drag the iris scale down. And it does that. Now what you're going to do is click on, right click on this and click slow fade. Then go right click on this one and fast fade. Click. There we go. Fast fade. Boom. All right. This is going to look like this. <laughs> Nothing special. Normally I use D blur. So for this part, I will use D blur. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So it's called BCC directional blur right here. Click that. Click. Okay. Now I have a preset that I normally use Dilly's blur. Uh, you can copy this right here. Literally, all you have to do is click the blur amount, 97-ish, somewhere around there, 96. It doesn't really matter. Then what you're going to do is click over three frames. One, two, three, you know, blah, blah, blah. And you're going to click all the way down to zero and drag it like that. And you're going to click, fa no, 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 fast fade and slow fade. Just kidding. Other way around, fast fade, slow fade here. 
Or fast fade, fast fade. No. Slow fade. No. Do I even know how to edit? Guys, I... I'd... Well, that is great. Yeah, let's go. Sony Vegas. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that happened, and I reopened Sony Vegas, and this happened. I'm not gonna do that all again, so basically I'm just gonna edit this without a song and show you guys how to do it with, uh... Out of song so i'm just gonna add a random clip again again all right so i do not feel like doing that again so i'm just gonna add a random song and make this real quick for you guys because i am kind of on a schedule okay so i'm finally done with this so this is not really an edit i didn't really sync it i'm just gonna basically show you guys how to do the effects that i've been wanting to show you without my sony vegas crashing because yeah that's been happening okay so the first thing we're gonna do is go to the effects tab right here and we're going to click on Blur Motion Curves. This is in your Sapphire plugins. S underscore Blur Mo Curves. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So what you're going to want to do is uh, drag the Z distance to about, I normally do like 333, something like that. Blah, blah, blah. Then this part really just all depends on your editing, how you want it to look. So for me, I will go over like this many frame. No, maybe some more actually like that many and then you're gonna delete all that click one enter or one enter like that and it'll look like this so that looks really clean it's like a blurry zoom out in whatever you want to call it um, we can also drag it in and make it last longer probably looks cleaner like that so another thing you can add on to this to make it look a little cleaner is some D blur. So we actually don't have that because my BCC plugins are not in the biggest 14. This tutorial is just going really great so far, guys. I am so happy. Anyways, so what we're going to do to make up for that is click S blur and uh, drag that down. Or no, 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 no. It's the other way around. This way. Yes. Blur amount. Something like that. Yeet. All right, copy these settings right here, boom. Then drag that down. Go one, two, three, four, or fuck, mine's fucked up. My Vegas is just retarded, okay? I'm sorry, but it is. Anyways, so that, and then this will also add some more blur to it. Yeah, anyways, that looks pretty clean. Okay, so anyways, guys, sorry for the boring tutorial. Honestly, it was pretty boring and uh, pretty shitty too, but I had problems in the middle of making this video So that really made me mad and uh, I just lost motivation for making a video So here we go. Hope you guys all enjoyed make sure you have a like if you did subscribe if you're new Please it really helps out a lot and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace